just tuned in, we're also here with uh, Sherry Brown and Zach McReynolds from Home Smart Realty. They're an incredible real estate team and just good peeps. They're just good people that really care about you and do a heck of a job. They are knocking out of the park for their clients. Uh, what's your stats on finding your clients' homes? You know, we just did these, and it was about 75% uh, of our buyers have found a home in the first week of looking in the last six months. So in the last six months, 75% of our went buyers. Back a year. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, we went back a year. I think <laughs> it was like... Okay, it, it was, was here. It was. Okay. Yeah, seventy-five percent of them. Please continue. They find a house pretty quickly. It's pretty awesome. Well, that that's important. The reason I have you brought that bring that up is there's a lot of frustrated buyers out there and stuff, and it takes a lot of work. It takes chasing it down. It takes networking and knowing great agents, and also your reputation. I'm going to have to go here. Your reputation and how hard you work and your ability to get the job done with with stress-free and without a lot of hassles is key to getting your offer accepted because I'm sorry if a listing agent is looking at a list of 10 people that they can be doing business with I don't care what anybody says everything is always the best offer not always there they don't want a stressful transaction they want to work with somebody they like working with and if they like you and they know you're professional you do a great job and they know the professional is good the lenders good they know what they're doing the escrow is good then they're more apt to take that offer am I right Oh yeah, absolutely. And even so, as a, for a listing agent, when I see an offer come in and it has all the great bullet points that makes a perfect transaction, and I can present that to my seller and say, hey, this may be $2,000 less net for you, but these are all the other factors that you're going to love. We trust and know this agent. We trust and love the lender. We trust and know this escrow company. This is going to be a great experience for you, and I feel really confident saying that. Okay, and, and that is important. As a listing agent, can you agree, and maybe Zach, you can kind of back up on this, is that you just mentioned, you know, some people go, well, why wouldn't I take the one for 2000 more? Why wouldn't I take that? But what if it, we've all dealt with certain lending institutions that not always, you, maybe you just don't know them. You can't trust them. If you don't get the deal through because the lender bombs it or the agent d goes out and has them buying a different house, they're just not ethical. For $2,000, what would your sellers do for that $2,000 to have to go back and relist? resell their right. home and change their whole life and all their plans that 2000 wouldn't really matter would it exactly and at the end of the day really it's accountability the lender the listing agent or the buyer's agent you're they're accountable to you because you know them they trade on their name just as we trade on our name and you're trusting that they can get the job done so using somebody that you that has a good name and you've done business with in the past goes a lot further than say two thousand dollars in your imaginary hypothetical situation <laughs> and let's say two thousand dollars in our imaginary hypothetical situation two thousand dollars over the grand scheme of things what if the escrow takes thirty days longer than it was projected to that's another mortgage payment what if the perfect home passes you by and you can't close on that home because you're working with an unethical agent mm -hmm. that you don't know and trust that has no accountability now you lose that dream home and that you're never going to regain that that dream home is gone so two thousand dollars over the overall picture is very minimal and that's not even including all the frustrations with that the emotion it's usually Tears. the emotions that that are involved in this because psychologist fees <laughs> <laughs> and how those going <laughs> sorry Zach. Way, you owe me a hundred bucks <laughs> <laughs> so can I say something with regard to what they're talking about I tell this to people a lot it's my uh, uh, Zach teamwork is doesn't <laughs> teamwork <laughs> yes. the highest offer is not always the best I tell it People t call me on a daily basis. What offer should I submit? Should I submit the one that's five grand higher? Or what? Send me the highest and best or the best offer. Like you said, if, it's, if you've got a guy out that's got offers on 10 different properties and he's going to run once, if, or if you've got somebody that's, I want this house, I've got Cherry Creek Mortgage l lending the money, I've got a great buyer's agent, I've got a great, you know, eight, that's the one I want to see. Especially in a short sale because you'll have an agent that hopefully, you know, you know that they know what they're doing and they're able to communicate that to their buyer and they understand the short sale process and they're willing to wait it out, not some fly by the night agent who does have an offer on 10 different properties. So right. if the other one comes through, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's accountability. You're working with somebody that you know knows what they're doing. Uh, and that's key. And I appreciate that you work with, you know, Taylor because I know you guys watched how he works and, and that you're. You, you know the deal will get done with Taylor. You know that he'll give the information. Taylor, you've become, what's your favorite new tool for your clients? 
Which one, Mortgage Coach? Yeah, you are yeah, the, becoming the master. And I have to bring this up because this is imp great for your clients. Is a lot of lenders out there give you this good faith estimate. That means nothing to you. It's a bunch of numbers on a page. But it really doesn't matter. What really matters is your total cost analysis. What is it really costing you to get that home? What are my real payments? What are my options? What are my payments versus various sale prices? What's nice is Taylor provides this beautiful for... Uh, full color graphs everything for your clients that says if you buy this home is exactly what the payments gonna be and here's what your cost to close is gonna be if you buy this home it's gonna cost you this much and here's what your payments gonna be If you buy this home so they're not in the dark does that help you guys I would imagine because oh, now yeah. they're not asking you yeah oh yeah well and it's my favorite question is when they look to me and say what is my mortgage payment going to be I mean I can ballpark it but I'm nowhere the expert or have the experiences that Taylor has so him uh, providing that up front is just such a phenomenal tool and until I have to ask how much fun is it working with these guys I mean come on oh they're amazing and to piggyback on what they're saying when you use local these are the experts they know where to send you uh, to piggyback on accountability again when you have somebody out there working as hard as Zach and, Zach and Sherry are if they give you a deal or if they're involved in a deal you're holding that to a higher standard you're putting effort in that you're putting more effort into it because you know how hard they've worked on that deal That's so anything point. less than closing on time is going to be a failure so um, working with them is definitely a plus you know Ah, very nice and well said well said because it does mm -hmm. make a difference you guys do raise the bar for everybody surrounding you guys because you guys do raise our standards making sure we provide the same high quality service and predictable service to raise that bar of their expectations and if you're listening out there what's the best way to get a hold of you guys um, the best way is directly you can call us at 661 262 nine two two four you can also email us at sherry c h e r r i e dot dot <laughs> zach z a c h <laughs> at gmail dot com and uh, definitely check out our website you can find us on facebook there too uh, real estate for santa clarita dot com and again that's real estate for santa clarita dot com f o